The name of the contest is Diverge. For me, it's all about storytelling and trying to capture that in one moment. Hey, Teresa. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how was the weekend? It was good, you? Good. Matt McCormick, 32, photographer here in Bozeman, Montana. What's up, dude? Hey, Matt. How's it going? Good, man. How was your trip? It was good. Nice. How did things fit? How did things work? They fit well. For me, the quality of, of Diverge has just gotten increasingly better over the last eight years. I'm Brad Christian. I'm the brand and creative leader at Sicky Gear. If anything, it's, you know, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, raw moments as much as I possibly can. And I am Austin Samus. I am a professional photographer in the hunting industry. My name is Steve Drake. I am a photographer. I'm a hunter. I've been shooting photos with Sitka for, gosh, 10 years now. And I've been involved with Diverge from the inception. My name is Adam Foss. I've been with Sitka for a decade. And from there, I've taken hunting and a passion for mountain hunting into doing something that I really love, which is telling stories about hunting. Hi, my name is Jay Blyer. I'm a photographer for Sitka. Yeah, when I started, I just started going out with a buddy who was, had a bow tag at the time and hunting for elk with him, and, and then it all just kind of fell in line from there. Oh, uh, no, I didn't hunt. I've been a bunch of ducks at home yeah. last week. When I roll into sheep show with my like, nice cowboy boots and stuff, I sit down next to Cole. Yeah, I'd go shirtless under it, though. That's what I was saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shirtless would be, you know, yeah. Yeah. Here you go, boys. Cheers. Cheers. The most, I got made fun of because we had a bunch of people coming over and I'm sitting there on my computer and they're like, oh, Jay's oh, working. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he never sees that. Yeah. Here, here, and here are votes from us and all of you guys. Well, that's easy. Let's pull those and we're done. This is like a nice like editorial photo to like support a hunt or something, but like a divergent photo that wins a contest and like transcends time, this one doesn't do it. Yeah, I agree with cool. that. I love the use of depth of field. I love the foreground. I love the background. I love that he's not like just walking around with something dead on his back. Truly authentic content. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was I, one two punch. <laughs> one is content, the other is authentic. Both bad. If you save them, there's penalty. How much weight does an image like this carry when we've already seen it a thousand times? Photos that we don't see often, to you know, Matt's point earlier, I think is interesting. We see a ton, I mean, just in this contest alone, we saw almost 30,000 submissions, and that's just for this photo contest. I haven't seen anything like this, really honestly, in my career, which is kind of cool. Again, like for the big game category, for me, like trying to take people to a place visually that they maybe have never been or can't go, for me, nothing about this like speaks to me like, oh, I want to really want to be there. I think there those any? two are in. I think we've I counted don't... these two in. Yeah. I don't think this one should be in there. Okay. Is this better Who's than got a dog this fight? No. You talked about the Holy Grail is getting hunter, animal, same frame, that kind of moment where it goes down. This is arguably that. Yeah, I mean, this for me, my very limited experience I mean, waterfowl happens hundreds of times a season. For me, for waterfowl, this isn't the holy grail because it's so exactly. repeatable. Hold on, no, 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 no. We have to, we have to talk. Are you shitting me? He's got okay. to, okay. okay. where is the holy grail? There you where? go. It's okay. so cool. Where, That's crazy. Where in the hell have crazy. you seen this before? Any I agree you? that it's Never. badass. Every day in Montana. But is it a, hun it's a hunting image? Is it top five? It yes. doesn't. Our judges have chosen their favorite pick for the white tail category. All six of them are going to lay down their choice for the winner of this category at the same time. One, two, three. <clears throat> Ooh, Evident. There we go. <laughs> nice. Mm. The core of the contest is called Diverge, find a photo that's different than all the rest. For me, this photo is says a lot about what it doesn't have. Just the negative space is super cool. The box in the back tell a story, but it's just different. And I think if, if we go to the core of the contest, it's like, yep, different photo. So for me, that's why it wins. All right, four, five, three, one. And all just kind of fell in line from there. Mm. <laughs> Clear winner, landslide. My son was ripping through his phone. And he's like, Dad, I bet a photo on Instagram can make you cry in one sentence. I'm like, no way. And he's like, look at Sick has posted it. And I ripped through it and I read it. And I was just like instantly like erupted in tears. And I'm like, damn it, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, 
Oh, oh my god. There's a tie. <laughs> there's a tie. Oh. This is more applicable to big game in my mind than random person walking through time. That, you know, going against the grain here, I think is so intentional, so cool, and it's not something you see. On three? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Oh. To get an image of a, that wins of a hunter that's not with a dead animal, I think is just super rad because there's so much more to hunting than just the kill itself. I think that's a wrapper. Thank you.